that, that point, so what person... causes somebody to move from the normal to the obsessive well <clears throat> you know in talking about the causes or the um, intricacies about how it comes to play the cause about of, of um, OCD is not really known however there are other things that have been explained which is genetics or family hereditary and also the environment because it could just be something that happens in families and it's even, it's even established that um, well, identical twins has more um, likelihood to have it together as compared to so one know, twin has it the other twin usually has can, it yeah the the um the um concordance rate for that is higher for identical as compared to um unidentical twins okay and then it could also run in families too and then also the environment can also make one to be having such if in other remember, words can a stressful um yes. or um experience experience yes. started let up. me try and um cast your mind back in 2014 when we had the um ebola scourge yes you know then the um the environment was tense everybody is afraid of the next person with this person have contacted the Ebola yes. virus and everybody's. Then you can remember there were um, um, banks, schools, churches everywhere. There are um, tanks and all that where people are encouraged to wash, wash their, hands their hands and all that. Even then, I was even reminding my neighbors then too because I was just afraid of a um, meal. You know, but that was just a, a, a moment really. Yeah, I'm not even fair, but now. Somebody can, from that point, develop OCD and be believing that um, every other person out there is having, um, is, uh, is contaminated and those are one of the, the themes for the, um, for the uh, um, obsession, which could be in form of death, that this person is, um, is dirty or can be contaminated from this and, you know, the obsessive act brings about um, anxiety and in way of relieving this anxiety, is when you now carry out the compulsive act. The compulsive act. act. Yes. But when However, you, they carry out the compulsive act, yes. wouldn't it serve to reinforce the obsession? Yeah. Make that obsession, that thought, stronger? Yeah, so they the, keep going back the, and forth. Yes. No, the thing is, just look at it in a way of maybe, let's say, um, a, 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 a tube with two um, ends, and then probably a balloon is on top. The um, obsession goes in like a pressure which inflates the balloon. the balloon and then the anxiety, the fear, the worry increases. Okay. Are you getting it? However, once this becomes so much and overwhelming, then the compulsion we would release the pressure in and then the inflated balloon compresses. Reduces. Compresses. However, as that as the compulsion the compulsive act is carried out, the obsessive act comes up again, which now becomes so a it, cycle. So it now becomes a never-ending cycle. Yes. But since this is the thing of the mind, yes, ma'am. Can't such a person receive psychotherapy to get rid of it? Let me quickly um, add: people having um, <clears throat> OCD, there are people, celebrities that do have um, OCD. So if one has OCD, it's not the end of the world or end of life. There's a particular um, hex um, English footballer who is known to have um, OCD. So even celebrities are having it and they are living their life. So people with um, OCD could have, um, they, they can be helped by psychotherapy and also through pharmacotherapy. Psychotherapy meaning use of um, um, talk therapy, talk therapy talk. while for pharmacotherapy use of medications. That can be used, and these have been noticed to be effective in apart in the from management. um apart from uh, family familial history and maybe traumatic experience. Okay. Are there any other risk factors? Well, there could be other intrinsic factors. It could just be um you know the idea about um, OCD is a function of um, a particular neurotransmitter that has been identified, which is the serotonin. That there is um when there is abnormal firing of this um <clears throat> neurotransmitter. Okay. It brings about all those um, all those um, feelings, and then in the management, what the um, the talk therapy or the um, the medication we do is basically to go and 
to the level of where all these problems are happening and then you will have to control the... So it's down to chemicals again. Yes. You, you try and regulate the amount yes. that is being fired, yeah, so to speak. Because there's a particular part of the brain in which um, it's also been identified that people, I don't even with um, investing, um, um, neurology, um, imaging, neuroimaging, there's a particular part of the brain that has been um, notorious or implicated in causing um, OCD. You know, they say that no matter how long you live, you, you never really use all of your brain. Yes. Is there something like, you know, taking out a bit of the brain so that, you know, the person lives a more normal life or sort of directing this transmitter somewhere else? You know, I don't know. I'm Thank just you very thinking. Much. Thank you very much for that question. In the management of whole city, there is a place of psychotherapy. There is a place of medical therapy, um, use of medications, mm -hmm. pharmacotherapy. There is also a place for physical therapy. Okay, we are going to go on a short break and we'll start from that point. Okay. Stay with us on this very interesting topic. We're going on a short break. <laughs> 